Welcome back people, it's Sandman here and we've got a very, very, very different video for you right here. Now I thought as we are approaching the one year since this amazing game mode Fortnite Creative was released, I wanted to go back and try find the first ever sort of playable map. I mean not many people back then had map codes originally that could publish codes and I managed to find the very first escape room map so let's dive into this if you guys are new around here make sure you subscribe turn on the little notification bell to join the official sand nation and make sure you smash a big like for this huge throwback that i'm about to go down this is escape maze it's called 2.0 because i think the creator um had some glitches so they had to like make a new code and called it 2.0 so it's not the second version this is the original i actually did play the second map of this back like months 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 ago it's called snowed in and that was one of the first escape room maps i actually played like you'll see it on my channel um by pickles so yeah i've never actually played this one so this is gonna be super funny going back in time where there wasn't that many things in creative as well so sit back and enjoy we are going back in time right here. Oh my god, remember when loads of escape room maps used to have this 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 architecture? This uh this war piece everywhere. Where are we going, where are we going? The advancements, honestly, with creative in a small amount of time. Just the same as Battle Royale to be honest, but the advancements are amazing and we all need to appreciate this game so much more. What's going on here? Need to appreciate this game and the updates we, we get. Can I get in there? That took me about 10 minutes to do, and it looks like there's literally nothing. Oh, there's a hole there that I can make. Oh my god, there's a tiny one here that I probably can't make. Yes, we can. I can hear that chest though. Am I supposed to go over to that chest? Just looking out for traps. It's weird that there's no traps here. But this is, yeah, a lot of obviously maps used to use these obstacle course pieces as well as you see on like scissors death runs and things like that. So it's really funny. Honestly, the advancement checkpoint. So we are definitely going the right way. Speaking of traps, there's one right here. The advancement of... Fortnite creative man honestly people make some incredible things right now I mean they did back then this is still incredible for back then but we were very limited then with the things that you could do is you can literally run wild with imagination right now with the, the tools that are at our disposal but yeah honestly it's, it's just insane to see the progress that this game mode has made the progress that you guys the map builders out there have made like people make some flipping astounding things these days I mean they did back then I don't want to discredit the creators that originally uh, used to build oh crap <laughs> there goes our first death I felt like I stared at that for for so long as well but yeah so this map was released around December End of December 2018 to early January 2019, it was released. And from what I remember, Creative Mode came out at the end of November or start of December um, of 2018, of course. So literally, this was one of the very, very first maps that were published. I still remember everyone jumping on like Reddit and all sorts so they can try to get themselves a code. I got mine in actually I got mine New Year's Eve, I still remember. From making my win winter wonderland um This is cool. From making my winter wonderland block. This was when everyone used to make the blocks, right? So I made a block for um that was a winter wonderland map. How am I supposed to get that? Um sorry, what was I saying? Yeah, I got my code from my winter wonderland map from posting it on Reddit, so this is super dope. I actually made a re a re up. I made a newer version of that when the prop hunt function came out as well. If you guys haven't checked that out, be sure to do so. I don't really know. There's there's so many directions on this map that you can go that 
I'm not actually going the right way, even though I think I am. Keep looking windows. What's outside? Yeah, this is built on that first ever island that they had available. This is what my uh, first block was made on, actually. Kevin's Kingdom. That was actually one of the very first creative maps published as well. Or made, shall I say. Because I got my publishing rights later on. So it's one of the first ones made. I don't know where to go this way or that way. But yeah, look at, like, do you see the way it's designed? The walls and, like... There's not much detailing. It's very basic detailing in, in a sense. In comparison to what all the crazy builders out there do these days. It's just that evolution. It's, it's, it's insane. It's just like from Battle Royale how people used to... Oh, I remember seeing a trap down there. That's why I panicked. Um, like Battle Royale how people used to think they build built fast. And then they learnt how to do 90s and they... They built a lot faster and things like that. That evolution. Oh, wow. Saman, you strafe jumping gangster. This is when you there were no billboards and stuff back here as well, back then as well. So you, you had no opportunity to write things on your maps like you can these days. Hence why there's been no like writing or instructions. And obviously you don't have like triggers. Like none of those things existed. Back in these days. So you really had to be creative. With being creative. And trying to make puzzles. Out of essentially nothing. Because you didn't have the triggers. And all those crazy mechanics. That you can do now. So I guess that's one of the big differences. In the way people build today. And compared to back then. And I think the main point of it is having the billboards and the hood messages that definitely help um, is that you can create a sense of direction in the maps these days whereas back then you you couldn't really create that sense of direction but also there should have been a way back there should have been a way to let me come back here here we go but there wasn't because it was all bounce pads to get over there so this is a new a new direction there's so many this is what I mean there's so many directions how do I know which one to choose right now because I did say this way looks interesting see now do I go this way or do I go back here if, if there is something back here no there's not oh is this parkour yes it is yes it is there we go finally some progress after ages now we can uh, start whizzing through again or not yeah we can oh my god I thought I hit my head then There we go, there we go. Oh, okay. What about the ice bit? I don't want the ice to hit me. Oh, God. Oh, no. Play with the ice. Some old school scissors death run type stuff. Oh, my God. Let's try this now, actually. Maybe the ice will help me get up. Oh, my God. Let's go. Should I try it? Let's go. Imagine a trap just smacks me in the face right now. Oh, this is where I was earlier. Bouncer? Okay. Things are getting interesting. Are you serious? Oh, don't be serious. Check, 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 check points. Oh. Okay. This has got to be the spot where we shall place one of these bad boys. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, this is all brand new. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a lot easier then. <laughs> okay, maybe it wasn't. Wait, where is it? I was about to say that's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, but I guess not. Okay, we're going to have to make it and somehow stop ourselves. I think I'm pretty sure I lose the ice as soon as I make it. Oh my god. I actually crap myself. I can't even lie. I cannot even lie. Grappler? I guess I can either bouncer or grappler. Oh my god. Let's go for the bouncer. 
<laughs> I just wasted a grapple and everything. Uh, I'm thinking I could use the grappler somewhere outdoors is probably the best bet right now. Why else would I be given a, a grappler? Probably just YOLO. Is that a downstairs? Is that an underground? No. We will take that. I can probably just grapple out of here and escape, right? Let me try. Wait. <laughs> oh no, that's the rift to leave the island, but... <laughs> I'm not sure if this is intended use, but I've got the grappler. So I'm guessing I can just YOLO the way out of here. Where's all this? There's a whole maze. I'm guessing I was supposed to come to this because I had never seen this the first or the second time. Should we quickly check it out? Well, it looks like... Is that a door down there? There is a door down there, but there's a door up here too. So I'm going to go for the door up here. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this must be it then. This must be it. This is what everyone used to do, have big shiny exit and there's a rift. Drop this for the rift and then we'll use it. There we go, you win. Oh, this is old school. <laughs> a lot of maps used to have this as well where you rift is to victory. We've got a landing pad right here. Boom, and we've made it. There's no collectible to collect to end the game like you can in these days. Just showing how far creative has come. But even though this is one of the very first creative maps ever made, um, it was stu still super fun. It was still super fun and super creative the way it's all put together. Now, if you guys enjoyed this throwback video and you want to see more of these kinds of videos where I'm going back in time finding some super old maps, let me know by dropping a big fat like on the video and commenting down below what you think. And subscribe if you're new. Consider using code Sandman and catch you guys on the next one. Peace.